Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Todd, the Flippin' Hustler. Well, welcome back to box reveal number five, or unboxing number five, or I bought the wall of toys and here's all the stuff I bought number five. Thanks for coming back. If you just stumbled upon my channel somehow, just randomly, my name's Todd, the Flippin' Hustler. The reason I call myself that is because I buy things at big box stores, garage sales, estate sales, auctions, Anywhere I can find a good deal, I buy that stuff and I flip it on eBay. Now, that's where the flipping comes from. The hustler part is if you want to make a full-time living doing this, you have to hustle or you will starve. So you have to work. A lot of people think this is not a real job. It is a real job. It's more than a real job because because you have to self-motivate all the time. There's nobody telling you do this or do that, which is can be both a blessing and a curse. Am I right? If it's a blessing and a curse, leave blessing and a curse in the comments. Okay, here we go. Let me get right into it. This is a huge tote. I mean, this is like a 54 gallon tote, or I don't know how big it is, but it's freaking huge. Um, and I, I can see what's on top, but I have no what, what idea, no idea what's below. So we shall see. Here is a drummer boy from 1967. It still works. Got an $11 price tag on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that down right here. And at the end, we'll total all up and see where we're at. $11 there. Looks like it's hand painted. That has a chip in it. That sucks. What is it? Dixie Dogwood. Original hand painted. Underglazed. Huh, two bucks. Price tag. It's got chip in it, though. That's what sucks. But oh well. Two dollars. That's super cool. Walt Disney record case. Woohoo! For your 45s. Put your records in there and go to a friend's house or grandma's house. Super cool. Huh. Just to be cleaned up. Uh, there's no year on it, but it has a price tag of $12. Now this is what the, the store I went to that I got this stuff at. That's what they were asking initially. It's not how much I paid for it. Jeez, uh, what's the safest way to get this stuff out of here? A Bug's Life. <sighs> Electronic talking hopper. What? Whoa. That's cool. Huh. That was a good movie too. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. A Bug's Life. 49 bucks. Nice. Nice. With over 40 phrases. Okay, cool. So write that down. 49 bucks. Now, I know I've said it once, and I'll keep saying it over and over and over. I'm not going to tell you how much I spent on everything right now. I'll tell you at the very end of all the videos, which is like five more or something. Um, oh, cool. Liquifier blender. So it is in its original box it has uh, warranty cards styrofoam but yeah it's an old blender it is plastic and it is that color so yeah that's not too bad i mean that part's in really good shape and this is you know the color that it is because of the year so that's good i suppose and it has its original box so that doesn't suck it smells clean, like never been used, almost. It's not all beat to crap or nothing, so yeah, that'll work. Let's see how much the price tag is on this thing. $79! Vintage Harvest Gold Osterizer. New in box. It's not new in box, it's used in box, but yeah. 10 speed, 79 bucks. Yeah, new in box is probably 79 bucks. But we're going to write down 79 and we'll look it up and we'll see. What is this? Special properties. Henry Link Wicker Vintage Sofa. $5.99. Must be just a tag off something else. Let's see here. This is an airport, it looks like. Fisher Price. Uh, airport. Oh, something goes up here. Is it an airport? Yeah, it's an airport entryway or something. I don't see 
a date or a price. So I'm going to put it there for a buck or put a dollar on it, but we all know it's going to be more than a buck. But that's the rules of the game. If there's no price tag on it, it gets assigned a dollar. Which kind of doesn't seem fair, but that's just the way the rules are, right? Can't change rules. Whoa. Wow. It's a Fisher Price uh, thingy. What is it? What is it? Parking garage? Or what is this thing? Building. It's got like the United Nations thing there. It's got a guy up here with goggles on. Tower, Skyway, and Plane. Three piece set. Well, apparently I'm missing something. Oh, it's probably this and this with that airplane. That's probably what it is. These three pieces, a total of $100 is what they had on them. So I'll take that dollar price tag off that other thing. Cross that out. And then Where's the plane at? I think that was in the last video. So somehow when they were putting the boxes together and they're putting everything together, it didn't end up in the same box. So that's a uh, hundred bucks right there. Or three. Okay, what is this? Um, is that a dress? Is that a cape? Is it a cloak? It is, it's like a Harry Potter. Oh, it's a doctoral, doctoral graduation gown. Okay. I could see that. $50 price tag on that. I had no idea. Those would be so expensive. Okay. That's that. Well, there's something in here, so let's see what's in here first. Oh, okay. Micro machines. I love some micro machines, boy. I've been selling some. I have some. I have some for sale. That was 10 bucks right there. So, yeah. And th that's also been one of my most searched keywords as well. Oh, there's a cute uh, trash can. Looks like from the 50s because it's got rodeo stuff, Raggedy Ann on it. Uh, looking for a date. Has crayons, giraffe. I don't see a maker nor a date. But I'm going to put it in the 50s to 60s. And it has a $12 price tag on the bottom of it. It does have a, a mark on the bottom. It has an H on the bottom. Or it could be an I. I don't know. So I'll look that up. We'll see. Now what I'm going to use to look that stuff up is going to be Google Lens. If you haven't used Google Lens, man, do yourself a favor. Dude, use it. Uh, what did I say? 12 bucks on that. Okay. Fisher Price Xylophone. 1964 with the pull string. <laughs> okay, and it's uh, $15. Uh, now, I have no idea if that's a good price. Bad price. Here's another one. Same year, 1964. A little bit worse shape. Just misses some paint there. That's a $10 price tag. Probably reflective of the paint and condition. 10 bucks there. What is this? Oh, that's enamelware. Or enameled. Ooh. Porta, Porta Enamel, Coffee Caddy, Colombian Terre Hot, Indiana. Look at that, man. I got to come show you guys this. That's super cool. Yeah, that's for some coffee, boy. We got to clean the crap out of it, but it could be done. It could be used. That's so cool. Yeah, it's like enamel over tin or something. Yeah, who? That was a price tag of, well, initially 50 bucks, and they crossed it off and wrote 25 on there, so we'll write down 25 bucks. This is a Radio Shack Flying Arrow. Radio Shack Blaze Performance with Streamlined Styling. Feel the excitement of fast-paced racing with this radically styled on-road, off-road machine. 40 bucks. Let's take it out, check it out. Oh, that is cool looking. Uh huh. 
That is cool looking. It's not all beat up either. Yeah, we're gonna have to fire this thing up. Oh, well, we'll have to see what kind of batteries it has and stuff, but it's pretty dirty, kind of dusty. More dusty than dirty, but pretty good condition considering. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. That's so cool. Okay, is there a date on it? I wonder. It's 40 bucks, it says. Let's see a date right off the top of my head. But, all right, 40 bucks. And last but not least is a another xylophone. This one has Goofy. Or no, I'm sorry, Pluto and Goofy. Um, has a this is from the 70s and has a ten dollar price tag on it. So looks like it was made in Italy. So I'll look that thing up and see where we're out there. Go ahead. You know what? I'm not even gonna stop the camera. I'm just gonna add this stuff up real quick because there was only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen items in this big tote. But they were big items, that's probably why. So alright, let's add this stuff up real quick. Eleven plus two plus twelve plus forty-nine plus seventy-nine plus one hundred plus fifty plus ten. Plus 12, plus 15, plus 10, plus 25, plus 10. Okay, first time I got 385. Now let's double check it. I always double check my math. $11 plus $2 plus 12 plus 49 plus 79 plus 100 plus 50 plus 10. Plus 25 plus 10. 385. Yep. Okay. So, $385 worth of value I pulled out of this based on the retail tags that are on here. Like I've said 47,000 times, I don't know what the stuff's worth. All I know is what I paid for it, and it was a smoking deal. So, I know I've already started selling the stuff. I've got the first two boxes listed on eBay. Um, like 99% of that stuff of the first two boxes is listed. So you can go check that out. I'll leave some of those links below so you can click directly to some of that stuff. Um, so that's it. That is box number five, $385. So in the comments below, why don't you go ahead and leave 385. I appreciate your time. I will see you in box number six. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.